comm zone is um, an area of the school. We're making it um, part of our learning commons, which is our old library. Um, and we're making it into a quiet area, an area where kids can go and decompress and, and kind of chill out. A comm zone is based on a multi-sensory room and that goes back to the 60s and 70s in the Netherlands. The comm zone in this instance is a universal application. Well, the comm zone is for all students. Any student who feels like they need to just de-stress can come into this space, have a bit of time away from the stressors that are just a natural part of life. So we did have uh, two pilot projects, a pop-up uh, comm zone area in one of our classrooms at the time of our diploma exams and, and kids access that uh, and their feedback was you know that they really enjoyed it they really appreciated the time and they we asked them do you want a permanent comm zone and they yeah they did from a student point of view you need to be in a state of calm alertness and if you're having a relaxation response you're more likely to be ready to learn ready to remember whatever you're doing as a student uh, there's good stress and there's bad stress and it's okay to have anxiety in your life because that's just reality and uh, we're providing them a space whether it's good whether it's bad just a space where they can go uh, you know to relax and chill out the needs of kids are changing all the time it's all about self-regulation regulating your nervous system so that you're ready to learn you're ready to remember you're ready to study and if you don't have those skills, I, I see these people all the time as a professional in the community. They're the ones that didn't handle the stress very well. And they're into alcohol and they're into drugs. We understand where kids are and we want to continue understanding where kids are to meet their needs. They are changing their bodies, there's hormones kicking in, their sleep patterns are changing so there's a lot of sleep deprivation. You've got choices that they're having to make about their future, are they going to go to college, are they even going to graduate. Relationship issues, identity issues and taking on all the responsibility of adults coming down the pike. It's a lot to take in and it all comes at once in teenage years. So if we can set up a calm zone, it's an alternative that helps them understand they can set up an environment that will calm them. They don't have to turn to drugs and alcohol to do that. People don't take the time to relax because we live in a culture that is all about production and not process. And in our culture, sitting and being quiet is not accountable. That looks like laziness. Melina and I have met in coffee shops. We have had two hour long phone calls, emails back and forth, trying to find the right items. We're taking lots of little bits and pieces from everywhere and we're trying to, um, you know, imagine this space and uh, once it all comes together it'll be fantastic to see. It was since March of 2015 we've been doing these kinds of things and looking for furniture. Once the neighbour grant came through then we could actually narrow in on uh, actually ordering them. I just want to see the room come together. I want to see it all in place. I think it's great to talk, that's the first step, but it's really excellent to see some initiatives happening and some real work being done to move forward and to address the issue. So today is a milestone. Well, I can't tell you how relaxed I feel right now just knowing that some of the furniture is here. So it's all coming together piece by piece. It's an exciting day. We got our four sway chairs, got unpacked and moved in. We got um, the fiber optics uh, in and a lounger chair in. And we've got the sound effects machine in place and the stargazer. This wouldn't be happening without administrative support. So Frank Durante also came in from his vacation to help us in uh, getting these chairs moved in today. So I really want to thank him for that. He's been absolutely supportive from day one. Um, we will have an unveiling um, mid-September once all the students are back. We'll maybe have like a bit of an open house where we'll invite people in to see it and hopefully spread the word about what we're doing and show people what, what our, our vision is. Now it's real. <laughs> Something has to start the chain reaction. As a counselor and as part of this team at St. Mary's, what we try to do is give kids a bag of tools 
the bag of tricks that they can use to manage their stress and anxiety. And what the Calm Zone provides them is a secure, quiet place where they can go and try them out. It's a great day today at St. Mary's. It's our grand opening for the Calm Zone. So I'd just like to welcome you all. Uh, thank you for taking time out of the day for, um, for coming here and celebrating with us today. Um, this is a huge day for Carrie and I. We are putting the period at the end of the sentence today. This has been uh, basically a three-year project for us. We've invited people from the parent community, school, administration, district, the healthcare community, the education community, and of course the students. They're collaborators, they're beneficiaries, um, it is a community project. This was a neighbor grant as well, but it, it just took that many people to bring this, this together. When you go in and you'll, you'll experience it, it's, you automatically just kind of take it in. And um, we hope that you'll enjoy it as much as I think the kids will enjoy it. I think they're gonna love it. I think it's going to be um, a total success. The vision that we had about a year and a half ago is now in the school. The most important aspect of it is not the exact equipment that got in, it's is it a relaxing space that kids want to go to. It's really it's cool. Really, it's really, yeah, it's really cool. Like the atmosphere is really chill, I guess. I have a D4 spare, so uh, it'll be nice to take a break there if I'm studying or something, you know, take a 10 minute break in the calm zone. I'm definitely going to use it after a test or before a test to clear my mind. Or like an essay or something I'm stressed out about. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. I'm having a bad day. Oh yeah. yeah. I think my favorite part of the calm zone would definitely be the bubble wall. Definitely the beanbag chairs. Very colorful and I like the stars. Yeah, the stars. And the sounds. And, yeah. and yeah. those chairs. Those chairs are really, really comfortable. And it's very soothing. And very I feel very calm now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a success. You know, we've done three pilot projects already and uh, we've had tremendous positive feedback from that. I think it's an amazing place for people to just kind of relax and relieve all their stress during exams and I think it's even better that now we have it full time. This is theirs to keep forever so you know uh, it changes everything when, you, when it's yours and you can own it and you can visit it anytime you want. Uh, it's just going to keep going so this is a catalyst to get youth mental wellness on the agenda in practical ways.